Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to be testing out a EVGA P104-100 mining specific card. And I know that this card has been out for a while now and I thought I would make a video on it. I actually haven't seen much hash rate videos for this, so I thought I would make a latest hash rate video for this one. And I'm going to go through and we're going to see all of the different hash rates that are popular right now for different coins and uh, yeah I'm just gonna name them off here Ethereum, Ravencoin, Vertcoin, Aeon, Zero, Bitcoin Gold, uh, Rio, Beam, A Eternity, Zero, Swap, Zalcash, Grin actually sorry Grin and Zcoin will not work because there's not enough VRAM as this is the 4 gigabyte version there is a BIOS to upgrade these to 8 gigabyte to unlock the memory but I will make another video on how to do that and I will retest the hash rates again. But we're just going to try on this one which has 4 gigabytes of GDDR5X Micron memory. And I want to thank Boris, my Discord mod, for, let <laughs> for letting me test this card. He's, he's let me test it like a couple of other cards as well. Great guy. Thank you, Boris. But anyways, guys, my testing methodology here is I have stock hash rates already as you guys can see here and then I'm gonna be doing an overclock one hash rate so that's 75 power limit uh, plus 100 core and plus 800 memory at 60% fan and if you guys don't want to watch the rest of the video feel free to go into the description below and you guys will see the hash rates and power consumptions already and uh, if you are going to do that feel free to when you leave hit the like button subscribe and let me continue on with the video here now so we're gonna go ahead and start with Claymore version 15 okay so we're gonna be using yeah the latest version of Claymore and we're using the dash strap okay so initially stock we're able to get 37.3 mega hash at 177 watts now with 75 power limit we are going to get let's see here get ready to type it in 42.7 mega hash pretty good 42.9 I'm just gonna say 43 mega hash sounds better <laughs> at uh, 133 watts okay not too shabby pretty good pretty good already found a share okay so that is the ethereum hash rate at that overclock level I think that's the efficient number there okay next one we are going to go with uh, Ravencoin now I've already went ahead and done the Ravencoin for obvious reasons uh, it does take a long time to get the hash rate number so on stock hash rate I got 20.45 mega hash at 173 watts at an hour average and then overclock one we are able to get 19.31 mega hash at 130 watts okay now uh, let's talk about vertcoin uh, we're using the OCM one click miner the latest version uh, Lyra 2 Rev 3 is the algorithm at the moment I know that they'll be moving towards a new algorithm uh, come I'm not sure when but it's gonna be called vert hash so Stock, we're able to get 30.9 mega hash at 177 watts. Overclock one, we're getting we're getting right now. Oh, looks like we're getting the same thing. 70 point, uh, 30 point nine mega hash at. Uh, let's see, hold on, let me get some wattage number. 130, yeah, 130 watts. Okay, so that's Vertcoin. Good old Vertcoin. Let's do G minor. We're going to do Aeon, good old Aeon. Okay, so stock we're getting 233 souls at 179 watts. And now with 75 power limit, we are going to get 229 souls. 229 souls per second at 135 watts. Not too shabby. Okay, we're going to do zero now. Where that's using NB minor. And this is going to be a ProgPow, one of the ProgPow implementations. I'm not sure if this is the Ethereum one, but uh, we're going to try it anyway so we can get a uh, base number here. So stock we're getting 15.86 mega hash at 180 watts. Uh, overclock one, we are going to get 
14.74 mega hash, 14.74 mega hash at 135 watts. Not too bad. Okay, that's zero. Now we're going to go back to G minor and we're going to do Bitcoin gold. Now, I believe this coin is not profitable at the moment, but uh, we're going to get the hash rate anyway. As you know, on what to mine, the uh, the profitability charts always change all the time. You know, it's not always Grin, it's not always Z coin. You know, it's Ethereum, it's maybe Beam. You know that kind of stuff. Even Rio or Rio currency has also been profitable on Nvidia cards uh, at some point. So Bitcoin Gold, we're getting 58.3 souls at 177 watts. Overclock one, we are getting 60 souls. Here we go, 60.5 60 souls at 134 watts. All right, pretty good, not too bad. All right, now we're gonna do Rio, Rio. Man, somebody, I'm just gonna go talk to somebody and ask them, uh, how do you pronounce this coin? Um, so I'm just doing base stock. Uh, I haven't added any th extra threads or anything for Rio or Rio currency. So uh, I, I'm just doing the base number here. Whatever whatever XMR stack will let me do. Um, so initially I got 1,240 hashes at 175 watts. Now at uh, 75 power limit with plus 100 core, 800 memory, we are getting, looks like it's still ramping up here. I'm going to let it go for a bit more. 1,187, 1,158, yeah, so 1,187, okay, there it is. It looks like it's, it's stable there, 1,187 hashes per second at, how many watts is this, 135, yeah, same as the other coins. Okay, not too shabby. All right, let's do Beam, good old Beam. So Beam, we're gonna be using G minor yet again. This is the uh, Beam hash V2. So this is the latest uh, algorithm for Beam. And okay, so stock I was getting 39 souls, 39.3 souls at 176 watts. Now we are getting 36.1 souls at 132 watts. This is pretty solid, pretty solid. All right, guys, uh, now we're going to do A Eternity. Going to go down the list real fast here. Uh, A Eternity used to be pretty profitable. So stock, we're getting 4.84 graphs per second at 158 watts. And now at 75 power limit, we are getting... 4.70 graphs per second at 125 watts. Okay, so that is um, a eternity. Next one, we're gonna do zero. Okay, so on zero, initially we're getting 34.9 souls at 176 watts. Now, on 75 power limit, we are getting 36.5 souls at 132 watts. Not too shabby. Okay, pretty good. All right, we're gonna do swap now. On to the next coin. Okay, so initially we got 4.6 graphs per second at 158 watts. Overclock one, we are getting 4.64 graphs per second at 125 watts. Okay, so pretty much the same, a little bit more graphs, but also better power consumption. Okay, now let's do Zell Cash on G minor. So initially we're getting 34.4 souls at 176 watts. And now over clock one, we are getting 36.6 souls per second at 132 watts. Okay, so that is Zell Cash. All right guys, so the last coin we're gonna do now is Bitem. Alrighty, so using the T-Rex web-based uh, GUI here, we are getting 2,175 hashes at 109 watts. 2,172 hashes at 109 watts. So that seems to be pretty efficient on, uh, on Bitem here. Okay, 
So that's the hash rate, my friends. Um, yeah, not able to do Z coin as well because of the uh, VRAM lim limitation. But once we are able to unlock the BIOS to eight gigabytes, which I do have the file for, we won't be able to do that until I do that. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think. I have all the hash rates here in the description. Let me know what you guys think is most profitable. I believe it is Ethereum on this card right now. So because we can get 43 mega hash at about 133 watts, that seems to be the most efficient. And all these other hash rates seem to mimic a 1070 or a, a 1070 Ti. Okay, so yeah, this number here looks like to be a 1070 Ti. Pr pretty close, anyway. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys for watching. Boris, thank you yet again for the cards here for letting me test out. Appreciate you so much, man. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.